kwamba tunashukuru nyinyi mliona mdhama anafaa e, kuwa uh, chairman wenu kwa hivyo pande hiyo tuna mdhama na pande ile ingine kuna wengine lakini jambo la muhimu lile limenileta tena ni kusema pole kwa mudhama na familia yake kwa sababu tunajua mzazi akipoteza mtoto si jambo si jambo rahisi na huyu mdhama wale wamemfahamu he is a guy who really loves his family loves his children sometimes it is love, tough love because he's a tough guy but he does that and therefore we know we have really lost your family has really lost but uh, professor mchungaji amenena neno la mungu kwamba those of us who know the lord know that even here where we are uh, upstairs is better and one has to pass through this stage to go into eternal life so utaendelea it, it will take time all of you lakini utakuja ukubali kwamba you know janet has gone and you have the other children your family you have even a larger family as demonstrated today and they all will be well uh, the brothers and the sisters uh, also to be comforted uh, the way you have described how janet was a well of laughter you know of love you will miss her but uh, this is how the world goes and and it will be well uh, melissa when we came to the house we know it's very very difficult for you you have many questions but i also told you that do school very well so that you can later in life say i have done what my mother would have wanted me to do and i have done well uh, so please when you go back abroad just pursue that with all the vigor uh, and you are friends there and family here to really be with you uh, to uh, guide you uh, so that you will do what your mother always asked you to do and your uh, grandpa uh, because i am in different territory i have to be very careful If I venture into politics, I have to be extremely careful. Na unajua mzee mudhama, sisi tukiwa katika azimio, magava na watatu wa ukambani tukiwa azimio FC, na nyinyi mkiwa uh, hasla FC, sisi tuliambiwa kwamba to take break the three governors. Kwa sababu uh, SKM anatafuta u deputy captain. Kwa hivyo tukaambiwa tukae kwa reserve bench. Uh, kwa muda. Kwa hivyo tunaendelea kukaa kwa reserve bench. Mpaka tutakuja kuelezwa tena. Uh, tusimame tena tuingie katika uwanja. Um, and we are patient because you cannot campaign when there is in space uh, to campaign so we are waiting labda tutaelezwa tuambiwe sasa inukeni kwa reserve bench uh, muingie katika uwanja um, mimi kama msomi mwanasiasa kidogo nimeangalia hii bottom up Eh, kwa utafiti na kwa kweli bottom up ya ukweli inaweza kusaidia Kenya mmepiga makofi na mjui nimesema ya ukweli <laughs> na naendelea unajua mchungaji alipotupa neno Alisema all these things are about application. Na hiyo ilikuwa ni neno heavy. 
application. But having said that, Najua, if you start improving Kenya from the bottom, from wale wengi, from wale wanaitwa walalahoi, kwa kiswahili cha Tanzania, you can help a country, a continent very much. Na hiyo bottom up, I imagine, goes to walalaheri, middle class, walalahai, upper classes, to all the people. So that concept is not necessarily a bad concept. Na huku kwetu kwa azimio pia, we have similar concepts, but <laughs> since, since I am here, I'm just talking about what many of your leaders here have talked about. That is uh, the, the, the bottom up. Uh, so, if that is applied well, it can help our country. Application. Alafu pia, kwa sababu yu ni ya kusambaza uchumi, vile vile nafikiri, ni kitu cha maana kusambaza katiba na sheria. So that all are equal before the law. Na kusambaza ugatuzi. That is what really I have myself been very, very much interested in. How does devolution work to help our country? And somehow, I think the deputy president yu mamba ya ugatuzi pia napenda, hata raila yu pia napenda, wanapenda, lakini application. Na kitu kile kingine cha muhimu ni kuangalia hii mambo ya rushwa. There has to be institutions which are independent truly and which focus on that. Kwa sababu bila hiyo kumalizwa Kenya, uh, tutakuwa na shida. But I know all governments are work in progress and we want success uh, for all of those. Niseme sana, these handshakes have been there since independence. In 1964 kulikuwa na handshake ya Kenyatta one na kina Ronald Ngala akina Moliro uh, na kulikuwa na, na, na mwingine Moi 64 Alafu kukawa pia na handshake ingine uh, ya Raila na Moi Kukawa na anche kingine ya eh, Raila na Kibaki. Kukawa na ingine ya Uhuru na, na Uhuru before Raila, Uhuru eh, na Raila before Raila ikawa ingine ya Uhuru na Ruto. Wakati wa wakati wa before ICC. Uh, uh, nilisema ni mtafiti ni researcher msomi kidogo kwa hivyo i want to say this and listen a little kwamba this election is very close na ule atashinda na mungu anajua ni nani it will be necessary it will be necessary to have a government of national unity it will not be possible for any one of the two to rule on their own so it is better as Kenyans and as politicians to prepare ourselves for that. Eh, ni kule kusoma kidogo tu nakuona mambo na kusema hiyo. Kwa hivyo, uh, nikimalizia, I want to ask uh, Rigathi something a bit special. Na Veronica, uh, something special na, na, na mudhama. Uh, nimesikia mkisema kwamba hii uda uh, mko watu wana, wana mjua mungu nimesikia mkisema hivyo na nikikaa ni nasikiliza watu na mimi nilipata nafasi kidogo ya kusoma theology miaka mitatu saidi kidogo nilikuwa na reverend dr mwalwa Ye yeah, alikuwa mbele yangu na mimi nyuma kidogo. Na najua uh, Dr. Ruto alikuwa huku zamani alikuwa chama wa wa, wa uh, CU. Na hata alikuwa itinerant evangelist. 
ama mchungaji wa kutanga tanga uh, traveling evangelist kwa hivyo uh, my, my plea what i'm trying to ask is uh, i want a special a special volunteer position so that i am i become you will ask for me i become ruto's associate pastor ninajua na pastors wengi hapa wale wakubwa lakini mimi nataka kuwa associate pastor uh, because i know that a time is coming in our country when we will need peace to be made na hata kuna maana ya kurudishiana maneno na the president hiyo sasa wakati imepitwa na kwa sababu ukirudishia president maneno na wewe ukiwa president unaweza kurudishiwa maneno lakini najua rigathi hiyo hawezi kukubali e, mambo ya aina hiyo so uh, kwa sababu watu walisema sana uda nyingi mpaka nikachanganikiwa kidogo labda some of what i have said <laughs> uh, labda what i have said ya azimio ime, ime, imekuwa imechanganikina kidogo uh, lakini kulikuwa na some points there so uh, mudhama uh, and family poleni god will be with you and uh, hata wewe umekuwa ukiniambia habari ya uda kidogo but of course kibwana always makes his own mind asanteni asante sana professor kibwana